What a day it's been for your buddy James right here running in circles since the opening bell. But I made it. I'm here at the New York Stock Exchange right behind me and ready to spread some love and knowledge to you all. So let's get this started. I need to get my evening off right and running. It's almost 4 o'clock. The market's there about to close. Stocks are moving and me, I need to move over to the closest bar and order myself a much deserved drink because it's officially happy hour here in the Big Apple. Now stocks, mostly higher this Thursday afternoon, but still for the most part in seesaw mode as investors continue to take in a series of key economic reports while Fed Chair Janet Yellen testified in front of Congress today. That's right, Yellen testifying in front of Congress in the afternoon hours. This as in prepared remarks, Yellen said a rate hike could be appropriate relatively soon, adding that there are dangers to waiting too long to tighten monetary policy. Meanwhile, energy also in the headlines as crude oil futures for December delivery. They were up about 1.5% in early morning trade as hopes that OPEC would strike a deal to limit production overshadowed oversupply concerns. Well, at least in the morning hours, they have since calmed down. And there is also a bit of data as housing starts soared more than 25% in October. Weekly jobless claims dropping to their lowest level since, get this, November 1973. That's even before disco. An October CPI, that rose 0.4% in line with expectations. And you team that with a lower U.S. dollar, then you have yourself a session right now of mostly gains approaching the closing bell. Let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this, the second to last trading session of the week. And we will conclude with corporate news because there's a lot going on. Retail giant Walmart reporting mixed quarterly results. It beat earnings estimates but missed sales expectations while Best Buy beating both top and bottom line expectations, lifting its shares by 5.5%. And with that, kick back, relax, grab yourself a drink. A quick reminder, tomorrow is Friday. Again, tomorrow is Friday. So put a big smile on your face, turn that frown upside down and realize the weekend is almost here. And I gotta get out of here and grab myself a drink. With that stated, for Modern Wall Street saying, I'll see you guys all in the morning. I'm James Swinney.